worked at a gas station with a similar story. B graveyard convenience store clerk. Taking that puff break outside. Joint disguised as a Siggy. Cop car rolls by the front, real slow like. Ask how the night's going. Going good, seen anything around this area? Nah, nothing lately. Hope you have a good night. He leaves, I go back inside. Toss faux cigarette and jacket into the office and close door. Random guy pulls up to one of the pumps. Moments later, two police cars pull up and arrest him on the spot. Later on there's four squad cars chilling around. Blazed as f watching this all happen. Not sure what the guy did, but apparently they were out looking for him. Graveyard gas station is crazy sometimes. Other guy got robbed at gunpoint on his shift, stay safe. Remember corporate money does not matter at all, hand it right the f over, and any booze they want until they f off. Doing 5k. On pace for 16 minutes after 3.5 kilometers. Legs complaining but I'm hyped. Start to feel sick. Set my mind to do another 200 meters then slow to jog. Too late. Do a hideous brap. Don't my pants but feel it backed up like the police trying to break down a door. Have to stop to avoid total annihilation. I could have been a star brothers. Today this happened. Be walking home from the gym. Been lifting for 10 plus years. Two teenage girls in front of me. They turn around and say. Hey fatty. And then they ran away giggling and laughing. What has been my focus in the gym? Getting stronger, which has required eating, and I've got to like 35% body fat. I think I'm going to take the lean pill and stop worrying about strength. Be me in middle school. Try to make some friends. Invite a couple guys over to my place. They are kinda teasing me but I just take it as normal banner. Mom comes into my room. They all go silent. Mom leaves and they all look at me with grins. Anon your mom has huge You could even see her nipples. Shocked because I was not expecting that and never paid attention to mom's body or how she dressed. Turn angry and tell them to shut up and you could not see her nipples. They keep making little jokes and asking stupid questions like her bra size. Mom walks into room again to say that food will be ready soon and that my friends had to leave. Realize that mom was wearing a old almost transparent shirt and you could in fact see her nipples. Get red from embarrassment. Friends go home and I avoid my mom after dinner. Next day in school friends are asking when they can come over. Only talk about my mom. Get mad at them and tell them to leave me alone. They get mad. Start telling everyone about that day at my place. Rumors start going around about my mom. Keep hearing crazier and crazier stories about how people saw her in public in the clothes imaginable. Eventually started to get bullied because of it. Was known as the boy with the mom. Bullying continued until we moved to another city and I switched schools. Grow up in poor abusive home. Work tirelessly to get out and make a beautiful family of my own. At 28, meet the love of my life. Marry her. Use life savings to buy a house and start a restaurant. Fast forward two years to today. My wife is leaving me because she has been sheltered and wants to live in Europe to explore life. Is dragging me to court to sell the house and business to pay her. I was never meant to have a happy family. Never meant to be loved. I want to end my life. Be in 12th grade, one year from graduating. School is specifically designed for students to be as social as possible. Hall has a bunch of sitting areas where you can only face each other. Other rooms where you can stay in breaks only have tables where you have to face each other. Have no friends anymore because all my friends I had before changed schools or don't talk to me anymore. Try to find some place in breaks where I can just sit alone unbothered and look at my phone. Every place is full and I think that if I sit anywhere alone, normies will make fun of me for having no friends. Think I'm just paranoid, it, just sit on an empty table I find. Group of girls walks by, look at me funny. 
old classmate sitting on the table next to mine with her large group of friends, suddenly says, have you noticed Anan is sitting on the table in front of us? Haha I just noticed, he's almost invisible. This actually happened I am not making this shit up. Made me super anxious so I decide to just lock myself in a bathroom stall instead during break the next day. Fast forward few weeks, have been suffering from the smells of but better than being seen alone in public. Group of 8th graders come in, one just jumps and grabs onto the stall to look at me from above. Why are you sitting with your pants on in the stall and on? You piece of can you not just leave me alone? Sick of this so I buy myself a 2004 used Honda Civic even though I live 5 minutes away from school. Get the back seat windows tinted. Just chill in my car in the brakes now. Unbothered ever since, completed the year peacefully with this strat. And yes I'm autistic but can you blame me under these circumstances? You have reached the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more green texts like these.